I'm not really interested in creating a super perfect product. One of the very special things about my product is it is made by hand. I always want it to look like a person has touched it. Erin Weston takes an artistic approach to horticulture at her family farm in Garner. She uses fresh, local, and abundant materials to create elaborate home decorations. My product is magnolia wreaths, round circles. I kind of dismissed the idea of making wreaths because I held it in my imagination that a wreath was not necessarily an artistic expression. But when I realized that I could grow something on my farm, these round circles that go on doors can be anything that you direct them to be. The self-taught wreath maker uses materials native to North Carolina, including everything from cotton to pine cones to the leaves themselves. Weston incorporates a special cultivar of southern magnolia leaves that infuse her products with a texture and color not often associated with more traditional magnolia leaves. So when most people think of magnolia leaves, they think of this. Yes, and they're exactly right. Both of these are magnolia. But what separates them, let's flip it over, is the backside. It's what's on the back. And the Weston Farms cultivar Cape Harris, it looks like it's been dipped in chocolate velvet. I almost compare it to a fake plant. It's so pretty it looks fake. The smaller, waxier, half brown, half green leaves that Weston weaves into her wreaths keep their color, shape, and size for years. Unlike more common varieties of magnolia leaves, which tend to dry out and crumble. I would not be making wreaths unless I was growing the material because I would not be able to find this much abundance unless I was supplying it. There's not this much of this type of magnolia available. So I, I have to grow it for this purpose. Fortunately for Weston, her family had the land and the knowledge to propagate, plant, and prune these unique southern magnolia trees. Her father, Noel Weston, spent 30 years as the horticulturist for the city of Raleigh, and it's evident that the leaf has not fallen far from the tree. The cryptomeria, can we get more of those? Sure. That'd be awesome. Weston has learned a lot from her father, especially the importance of good soil. Erin, why'd you bring me all the way up here? I brought you up here to really show you that a good wreath starts with a good tree, and a good tree starts with mulch. And it requires a lot of mulch. And every time we plant a tree, we put in about 10 gallons of these hardwood tree chips. So it's our mountain of mulch. The mountain of mulch is a community waste product that Weston Farms recycles into black gold, a perfect diet for North Carolina's harsh growing conditions. I um, say sometimes that North Carolina is the New York City of gardening. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And that's because gardening is tough here. It's hot, we have droughts, and it's cold. So we've really had a lot of issues finding this perfect assortment of plants. The plants are chosen for their hardy traits as well as their decorative appeal. After all, the wreaths are only as beautiful as their leaves and Weston makes sure to give them her full attention in the design room as well as the field. People ask me, how long does it take to make a wreath? And my answer is usually three years because it takes three years for a tree to be in full production. After three or four years, the leaves are ready for harvest and Weston descends upon her studio to work alongside her assistants, affectionately known as the Weston Farms Elves. I'm intentionally using fresh, abundant sources of materials in my wreaths. A really good example is cotton. I had a student that has a cotton farm and they create abundance of cotton and it, it's just a really fun product to incorporate into the wreath. Although that is not a product that I'm growing on my farm, it is something that I can add seasonally which makes it local to North Carolina. Weston Farm sells its seasonal products on its own website, as well as the state farmer's market in Raleigh. 
The farmer's market has really built my business and it has been a group of people who have supported me and been cheerleaders for what I'm doing. It's just been unreal. Look at the magnolia. It's so elegant. I think this should go on Governor Purdue's front door. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank How much you. more North Carolina can you get than that? Weston Farms celebrates the agricultural and artistic diversity found throughout North Carolina. Its customers appreciate the elegant designs crafted from traditional southern plants. We in the south love magnolia. Magnolia is magic for us. It's what grandmother went out and harvested all times of the year and she'd bring it in the house and so it, it brings a special feeling to our heart. And this is not grandma's magnolia. She may throw in pheasant feathers, she may throw in turkey feathers, peacock feathers, we don't know what she's doing next, but she has the creative wherewithal to take and experience things most people wouldn't. But when she puts it together, it's all beautiful. That's why we call her the Magnolia Queen.